Zone Ads World of Local Business Info Subscribe to our channel click the bell icon and select all Hi friends, it's very nice to connect with all of you through this wonderful medium and I am Dr. Chetan Mahajan, Consultant Surgical Gastroenterologist, Liver and Pancreas Surgeon. Today I am going to try and tell you few things about what we popularly call as chronic pancreatitis. Now chronic pancreatitis is a, is a disease which was not so prominently discussed about maybe 10 years back but now we are diagnosing more and more patients of chronic pancreatitis a lot of patients who often complained of a very non-specific kind of an abdominal pain associated with backache actually now are getting diagnosed as chronic pancreatitis in our country one of the most important causes of chronic pancreatitis is nothing else but alcohol consumption. Alcohol consumption can be can give rise to various spectrum of diseases, various diseases of uh, associated with pancreas, liver predominantly. But in India, a lot of population actually suffers from chronic pancreatitis because of a long term ingestion of alcohol. As you all know, alcohol can be associated with acute pancreatitis as well, which we discussed last time. But a lot of patients who somehow do not develop acute pancreatitis or they develop and then it subsides, end up with having chronic pancreatitis. The basic difference between the two types is that in the first variety acute pancreatitis, you have pain, you have inflammation of pancreas and so on and so forth. But there is no structural change of the pancreatic gland whereas in chronic pancreatitis the irritation to the gland has become so much that it causes damage it causes structural damage and you see structural changes in the pancreas how do we see those changes well there are different modalities imaging etc etc the main important point which we need to remember here is that chronic pancreatitis patients will present to you with nagging pain which is there on and off with variable intensity usually the pain will be in the upper part of the abdomen and the patients will definitely tell you that the pain goes to the back side as well corresponding point on the back in the midline now this is a very classic description of chronic pancreatitis in association with that patients will have marked weight loss number two they will come quite emaciated they won't be really very well fed or sturdy and robust looking people they will be emaciated they lose weight the third important point would be the stools a lot of people will say that they have got sticky stools and a lot of people actually if you know they are careful they'll tell you that the whenever they pass motion the the motion usually keeps floating on the surface of the water and so and so forth so basically we are looking at a patient who has got pain who has got exocrine deficiency in terms of there is malabsorption of especially the fats the second important point what a lot of patients of chronic pancreatitis will present with is a diabetes now a patient who has got a long-standing history and diabetes basically depicts exocrine and endocrine deficiency of pancreas these patients are usually treated for acidity non-specific pain even some patients are treated for as an ibs unfortunately this treatment doesn't take the patient anywhere they keep worsening the best modality to pick up chronic pancreatitis is a good ct scan i am omitting ultrasound because omit ultrasounds are usually done sometimes the disease is picked up many times it is not 
A good contrast enhanced CT scan is a gold standard for diagnosing changes of chronic pancreatitis. A lot of centers, doctors also prefer MRCP and a few centers probably ask for a CT scan as well as an MRCP. Basically, the structural changes of the pancreas, they need to be seen. The classic changes will be the gland will be atrophic, it will be hardened or fibrotic and in many patients, the main pancreatic duct which runs across the entire pancreatic body will be dilated and a few other patients will actually sto show calculi or stones inside the main pancreatic duct. The treatment of chronic pancreatitis basically depends upon number one, at which stage the patient has come to you and number two, what is the structural situation of the pancreas. If there are certain changes in the pancreatic gland which favor an operation, then an operation or a surgery will be one of the best modalities to treat it. There are certain patients who will show changes which are not so amiable to operation and those patients can be treated either conservatively. When I say that, it means by medication. And number two, there is a few subset of patients who can be treated endoscopically. Now endoscopically, you can place stents in the pancreatic duct if required. And you can also now avail a modality called as endosono, wherein there is a facility of sonography at the tip of the endoscope and you can actually see the sonographic anatomy and the endoscopic anatomy. Using this modality, a few patients can be given some pain blocks which we call as neurolysis and the results have to be seen in short term as well as long term. A lot of patients who do not prefer operation at the first go may go for a endotherapy and go for neurolysis and of course if these patients don't improve then they are looking at an operation. So in brief the first important point is do not ignore long standing pain. Number two abdominal pain along with loss of weight indigestion and a symptom complex like that with or without diabetes has to be looked very very intently and we need to see and find out if there is underlying chronic pancreatitis. And number three, please do not get really ruffled up by hearing the word operation because in lot and hundreds and thousands of patients, pancreatic surgery in chronic pancreatitis has proved to be a boon. And so my request to all of you is that do not ignore these symptoms. If you have few of your friends, relatives or known people who are out and down with these symptoms, who have undergone CT scans and all, but they don't know where to go, well, this is the time and point, you know, where to you can contact us and we will ensure that you will get the best treatment. Please do not forget to visit our website, which is www.drchetanmahajan.com. For any assistance at any given point of time, you can always contact our helpline number which is double seven double nine seven three double two double two. Thank you very much.